everyone, Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm excited because today I'm going to be trying chocolate, lots of chocolate. Easter chocolate from the Juni Licorice and Chocolate Factory. I'm trying these things today because one of my lovely subscribers actually recommended the Juni Chocolate Factory and I'm so glad that they steered me in that direction. I just started filling up my shopping cart of all sorts of amazing chocolate because they've got a huge variety. The Easter eggs on their site, you can choose the kind of chocolate you want. You can also choose the filling you want and voila, you got the perfect Easter egg for yourself for Easter. I've actually never visited the factory but apparently you can do tours there and um, eat chocolate to your heart's content like if you pay for it of course because why would they give you free chocolate? Some people go to a chocolate factory thinking that they just get I, I handed out lots of chocolate which I'm sure they will give you samples. If you're going to have samples you've got to at least be in the market to buy stuff and today I have bought a lot of Easter products. Now I was only going to buy a couple of things and try them but you know how it is. I bought too much chocolate. It was packaged really well. See they've got this like foily sort of stuff that protects the chocolate from the heat and insulates it and look at that they've even got Juni Licorice Factory paper. These are the products I selected. I think I've got a nice variety here. I was going to get some white chocolate but I forgot to add it to the cart. This is a little freebie they've given me and it's a cute little tote bag or a shopping bag. Look at all the selection of different chocolates they have. I've got two smaller ones. This one is a milk chocolate with coconut so like a coconut rough one. I do like the packaging. I think it looks very classy and stylish. Or, oh. Oh. Oh, this is looking really good. Oh my gosh, get out. How good does this look? Coconut on the bottom there. Oh. Oh, this is messy. Mmm, <laughs> it's so good. Well, I'm actually really happy because the quality of the chocolate's really good. Very milky, very smooth, creamy. Look in the middle there, you can actually see the coconut rough bits. So they've got little coconut roughs and thrown them in a half egg and then drizzled chocolate on top. And then also you've got coconut on the bottom there, perfect for a coconut lover. I really like the combination of coconut and chocolate together. Oh, oh it's so messy. Mm. So we've started off really well. The coconut one is really good. It's really rich and for those of you out there who love coconut, you would love this one. Coconut lover's dream, delicious. Oh my gosh. This second one I'm going to try is a really cool flavor. It's actually got pretzels, milk chocolate and pretzels. It's very American really, isn't it? Because Americans love pretzels and everything. Actually now I can understand why they do because it's actually a good combination with salty and sweet. The presentation of this is really nice that it comes in that box to protect it and then bam there it is oh it's sort of sealed and not sealed right which makes it easier to get out which is great. oh gosh it's falling apart of course it is it's pretzels whoopsie hello oh oh that's so good this is going to get ugly and messy oh oh wow mm. I love this one. I like this one better than the coconut one. The pretzels themselves are nice and crisp and fresh. Mm. And the pretzels have a nice amount of salt in there and they go perfectly, perfectly with that milk chocolate. This is gorgeous. This is sweet and salty, done really well. Really recommend this one. And I love that it's so unique and different than anything else that you can get in the supermarkets. Yum. This next one is a caramel chocolate and inside it's honeycomb. Come out. <gasps> oh, it's broken on the bottom. That doesn't matter though, because it's all going to get broken soon. Look at how delicious this one looks. Yeah. Oh. I can't get this out in full to show you because it'll just fall everywhere. But check out those big chunks of honeycomb and then that caramel chocolate and then it's drizzled on the top there too yum so i'm going to try a bit of this honeycomb with a chocolate drizzled on it mm. it's very crunchy <laughs> Mm, mm. It is super sweet. This Easter egg is everything I hoped it was going to be. Because I saw honeycomb and I thought, well, I might get a different chocolate with that. And I went for the ridiculously sweet caramelly chocolate. And I'm actually glad I did. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're into super sweet things, I think you would like this because it's just so unique and you don't usually get a caramel chocolate Easter egg and then let alone have a honeycomb in it as well. And so if you want something a little bit different that includes not just chocolate, but also honeycomb, then this is for you. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. I have a dark chocolate one, which I'm going to leave till last. Next up, though, I got this beautiful little gift box of Easter stuff. And check out how beautifully this presents. I mean, that would be the perfect present for someone like yourself. I held that upside down, sorry. <laughs> there you go. But it comes with lots of different things in here. Now you can select a dark chocolate one, a white chocolate one, or also milk chocolate. So I went with the classic milk chocolate. What I like about this though, as well, it has freckles in there. It's got an Easter bunny, an Easter egg, and also some milk chocolate raspberry liquid. Oh, oh, I forgot. It's also got a foil covered bunny. He's hiding in there. Lots of different things to love about this box. And it actually was quite reasonable be priced I thought for the amount of stuff you get in here it's a bargain I think for a chocolatier you're going to expect to pay a little bit more they're not like supermarket chocolates get that out of your mind it's more upmarket than that but but also it's great to have small chocolate factories still around and so make sure you get out there and support them when you can if you're thinking of a present for someone chocolate's always good isn't it and especially chocolate that they haven't tried before so get out there and support your local chocolatier let me know if you've got a good chocolatier near you open the box and I'm going to try some of these things. Wow, how good is this? It's so good. Sorry, I almost freaking hurt myself. I'm going to start off with this licorice thing because, you know, I don't really like raspberry licorice, but that's what came in the box. I don't think you can change it up. That's just what you get. There's lots in the bag. I was all ready to hate it. I was. Mmm. 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 The chocolate's good, but also I'm wishing that it was normal licorice inside here because I love classic licorice. I feel like the raspberry licorice almost tastes a little bit like a gummy candy inside. And the raspberry licorice itself isn't too sickly sweet or anything, which is what I was worried about with in conjunction with the milk chocolate. And I can understand why they're put in the box because I think it would be a favorite with a lot of people. Also, you get a chocolate bunny, which I'm not going to try because I've tried the milk chocolate and I'm going to save this later for Easter. I might even gift it to someone I love. Maybe even me. <laughs> But it is really cute, as you can see, and a great Easter present. And I'm not going to try this little fella either. I can show you, though, because it's mine. I can touch him. That sounds wrong. I love the presentation of the box it comes in. And then, look at this. Oh, he's so cute. And he's quite stylish looking. He doesn't look goofy like a lot of the chocolate bunnies out there do. I like his face, which is important. But he's a winner. Oh gosh, he smells good. He's so good. The other things I got in this box is of course an Easter egg, which I don't need to show you this because it is the milk chocolate, which I've tried. It's got that crackle pattern on it and it's foil wrapped. It's classic. I love it just because it's a classic looking Easter egg. But I definitely am going to try these and they're giant freckles. And you know I love hundreds and thousands or sprinkles on chocolate. And these are massive. It's good that you actually just pull this apart too that you don't have tape and destroy the bag, although I've managed to destroy it. So you get four of these. That's a great size, isn't it? Mmm. 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 Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. I think for freckles, for me, it's about combination of textures and that milky smooth chocolate and then the crunch of the sprinkles or hundreds and thousands on top. Really delicious. And they're quite thick, yeah. So all up, though, this box contains a lot of really cool things for Easter. And I think the value is really there. I left this one to last. It's dark chocolate and it's licorice. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Look at how classy and gorgeous. And it's so heavy as well. Come on out. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, gosh. Chocolate and it's fragile and it's Easter egg. It has gotten broken, unfortunately, because I wanted to bring it out and show you in whole, but I can't. It's just such a shame I can't show you all of this because all I'm showing you is a mess of chocolate and licorice. As you can see, they've got the bits of licorice there and they're loosely sort of thrown in the half egg and then chocolate's drizzled on top of that. So it's not completely covered in chocolate with a licorice. So you can actually sort of get a little piece of licorice out separately and try that. Of course, I'm going to try the dark chocolate with the licorice. Mm. It's my favourite. 
Mmm, <laughs> really good. And the licorice is so good. I love that. I think I have found my favourite Easter product. I love the dark chocolate. It's really rich and smooth and also it's got that nice little bit of bitterness to it. Mmm, really good quality. And then the licorice itself, it's quite soft but it's also got a little bit of chew on it which is nice and it's not too sweet because some licorice can be too sweet but this is just right because a lot of the commercial licorices are too sickly sweet it's a good licorice i mean i shouldn't be surprised because it does say juni licorice and chocolate of course they're going to do licorice well really pleasantly surprised because i love licorice love it for me this is the pick of the bunch and then second i think i'm going to go for the pretzel one because i love the com i'm not you know what though i, I like the honeycomb one as well but then the freckles um, I don't know. I think this one is my favourite. It's classy, it's stylish. You can't really get something like this in the shops. You, even the licorice bullets and everything that you get in the shops, it just doesn't compare to this quality of licorice and chocolate together. I love it. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at all of this Juni chocolate and licorice. I'll leave a link below to their website. Have a great Easter and I will see you next time. Bye. You know, I wish you'd all told me that the tag of my dress was hanging out the whole video.